Assalamu alaikum, good morning. Ni hao and drastrite. President CGSS, Mary General Khalid Amir Jafri, Excellencies, scholars and experts, ladies and gentlemen. After such a hot speech that you heard, it now shows how much SEO has a long way, long way to cover. But uh, my speech will concentrate on the future potential of SEO. It will be a little different from what you heard so far, because I would like to quote in this respect a, a, a small couplet of poetry of Elama Iqbal, who, used, who said, Abhi tak maujood hai me khane shark me, wo me jisse roshan ho adraak. For the translation is, still the Orient and the East still has that wine that can illuminate the world. It is a privilege and pleasure to speak on an important theme on SCO's future discourse and opportunities for the region. I have been to almost all of the SCO countries and I've also gone some of the countries many times. I, my pet subjects are China and uh, economics, but uh, General Jaffrey has some more uh, sources of information which found out that my another pet is the subject that I'm not supposed to address you. In my humble view, the world is only waking up to tectonic shift in, in Asia and Europe with the emergence of SCO. Given the resources and other advantages, the Shanghai Cooperation Organization has the potential to become most effective regional cooperation body with global impact, enhancing the welfare of 3 billion plus 1 billion, or the majority of global population. It holds the promise of becoming the combined improved version of security cooperation and regional economic collaboration, such as those as you see in other parts of the world, like North Atlantic Treaty Organization, European Union, ASEAN, NAFTA, Mercosur, whatever, it, it has the potential to become actually the sum of all. But the route to our grandeur future goes through undertaking a small incremental steps. So far, they are not as visible. As a scholar, I have the leverage to say that. Regional or global organizations are not built by high-sounding statements, speeches, or resolutions. <laughs> Their success is actually the courtesy of bringing change in the life of population by launching new policy initiatives and breaking new ground. For 60 years, Pakistan was a member of Western alliances and splendid things were achieved through this much-known partnership. Our friends in the West knows it as much as we know it. But the world never remains the same. The world in 2019 is not the world of earlier decades. The Western powers have committed grave errors. Their protected decline cannot be reversed. The SCO is a young organization founded on the lofty principles of positivism underlying the Shanghai spirit. I think before we talk of SCO, we must talk of Shanghai spirit. What is the Shanghai spirit? The Shanghai spirit is the win-win spirit, or that what the Chinese call Shuang Yin spirit. So without talking on the Shanghai spirit, I don't know how much we should really talk about SCO. The win-win spirit is also called as double win cultural template. The SCO is encompassing three distinct cultural zones and civilization spheres of influence, Chinese, Russian, and now South Asian. These open up enormous possibilities in the 21st centuries. The Central Asian region is where the three civilizations meet and mate, I would say, together. For us, the Central Asia has been a romance. And what we are seeing, actually, SCO is the alliance of romance of civilizations. But we have to make it uh, that the Central Asian region, uh, as I told you, is, a, is, is the region where three civilizations meet, mate, and, and, uh, 
and uh, produced the hybrid of beauty, romance, and love, reminiscent of the glories of ancient Silk Road. That is a part of folklore in Pakistan. The peaceful economic rise of People's Republic of China and its advocacy of a positive win-win paradigm of peace and development has provided a historic opportunity to all the states in the extended region of Central Asia, Eastern Europe, South Asia, West Asia, for building up upon their own achievements in nation building. But the SCO has a long way ahead of it. And you heard some of the speeches. The West wants SCO to be always intangible and a hostess to the template that they designed two decades ago in order for the SCO region not to realize its potential. So there has to be, there is a need for thinking differently if we really want to see SCO's potential go ahead. SCO has a long way ahead of it in order for its impact to be felt by the population in the extended region. The SCO is no ordinary regional organization, we must remember. The SCO provides an ideal platform for the member states with their varied historical experience, geographical location, cultural heritage, political ideology, economic interests, strategic outlook, diplomatic worldview, roles, aspirations, and dreams to come together to build what President Xi Jinping calls a community of shared destiny. Russia's President Vladimir Putin is a great statesman. Foreign policies of his states have to be dynamic in nature. They have to keep evolving in response to opportunities and transformation within and outside their borders. There is no last word in diplomacy. The world is witnessing transformation on a scale and magnitude beyond comprehension of any previous generation of humanity. Not only in the field of technology, but also in social, economic, and political arena. And time alone will not wait for anybody. The SCO corresponds to the need of new wave of globalization, powered by new geoeconomic realities with the rise of China and revival of Russia. The SCO needs to work out a visionary set of goals and targets with methodology and deadlines to be followed by member states in order to achieve them. Looking into the future, the SCO will need to undertake several initiatives and that will contribute value to itself, learning from the global best practices of success and failures of other regional and global organizations. In my view, these, these ideas that I have, some of them, I can relate to you for the interest of those, as I call them, part of SCO development plan for the future. First of all, SCO should, have, should be a citizen-centered organization with regional offices in all member states. Second, there should be an eminent persons advisory group with three representatives, each from all member states, having knowledge of each other's languages. I call it romance of three languages, Russian, Chinese, and English. So you, your advisory group must have three representatives from each of the member states who have the knowledge of these three languages and history, culture, economy, and foreign relations of the member states. For that matter, I have been to several times to Russia and to also to Central Asian states, almost all of them, and China, of course. The third idea is we must establish a SCO think tank with ideas and innovation, innovation bank, launching annual awards for research in sciences, humanities, medicines, digital technology, and fine arts. Fourth. Establishment of SCO civil society, youth, women, and children forums. You know, the future belongs to the children, to the youth. Where is the context that we need to develop SCO? I don't see those contacts. So we have to have SCO civil society, youth, women, and children forums with probably 100 scholarships to offered by each member state to the other under SCO to promote goodwill exchanges and prepare the future generation. Fifth, promotion of agriculture, industrial, scientific cooperation with transfer of technology and best practices within SCO. 
Sixth, establishment of SCO, Bank of Trade Development Technology Transfer and Concessional Finance for the member states. Seventh, establishment of North, South and East, West trade corridors for multimodal vehicular and fast track railways transportation. Eighth, signing of preferential free trade trade agreement with trouble-free access to markets of member states and removal of trade and non-trade barriers. Gradual, then gradual easing, ninth, gradual easing of preferential or free visa for diplomats, officials, business persons, tourists, and if possible, for the citizens. Establishment of closer cooperation for counter-terrorism, counter-drugs, human trafficking, and anti-state elements. Cooperation to undertake regional connectivity and collaboration projects jointly in the Euro-Asiatic region by pulling the human, economic, and technical resources of member states. We are moving gradually in this direction. With, we see some of the projects now being considered in the Euro-Asiatic region. Then joint in initiatives to counter climate change, environmental degradation, energy, and water scarcity challenges. You know, the world is watching SCO because nothing like SCO has, has been there. It is a new model. It's a new model of relationship. It's a new model of networking. It's a new model of thought. So our success of SCO is being watched very closely. SCO cannot be held hostage to the previous template which was made by the West to make this region bog down. The Euro-Asia is the future, future region, and this is not that we are telling it today. A century ago, Mackinder, Mahan, Toynbee, you name it, all the Western philosophers have said about this, that the future of the world is Euro-Asia. So I don't have to repeat history here. Joint efforts to promote, and then there has to be joint efforts to promote soft power, cultural diversity, tolerance, through educational exchanges, youth programs, so sports, women, films, and scholarships. Where are the films? The CEO is a beautiful, produces beautiful films. We never see them in Pakistan. We never see our Pakistani films. I don't know how many of them you see in the SEO region. <laughs> Annual SEO film weeks and sports events may be held. A pooling of human, economic, and technical resources and experiences of member states to banish poverty underdevelopment and backwardness. We must learn from each other's experiences. Mutual assistance in the fields of security and intelligence in case of external threats based on common minimum agenda of mutuality of concerns and interests of the member states. Establishment of SCO alliance of universities, think tanks, chambers, trade bodies, civil society organizations. Promotion of the teaching of Chinese, Russian and English languages and cultures of the member states under a mutually funded and collaborative fr framework in order to make the future generation grow with a SCO identity and global personality. The member states should also not avoid, not avoid discussing issues that are considered taboos, such as human rights violations, border disputes, ethnic conflicts in closed door sessions of experts only experts and closed closed door sessions should not avoid issues because SCO is a unique platform which can resolve a lot of issues left over by history, left over by you know external machinations in this part of the world. Of course, SCO can avoid public debate, that is all right, as per Shanghai spirit. A mechanism of annual meeting of military and intelligence chiefs should take place. Joint Commission of Defense Ministers for Collaboration on Projects under Bilateral and Trilateral Cooperation in Member States. End to media propaganda and hostile statements in member states against each other as per Shanghai spirit. You know, the Shanghai spirit is critical to the success of SCO. If SCO member wa states want SCO to succeed, they have to study the Shanghai spirit. Shanghai Qingshen, as they say in Chinese. So establishment of SCO and finally establishment of SCO dispute resolution framework or you can say mechanism which identifies the root causes of conflicts 
of disputes among member states and suggests innovative and mutually acceptable solutions without any pressure or coercion. All member states should respect each other's sovereignty, territory, and integrity and should refrain from any interference, intervention, or use of force. Pakistan and SCO. Let me tell you, SCO is the natural platform for Pakistan. Pakistan brings to SCO the energy, I would say, a very unique type of energy to SCO. So far, it hasn't been utilized, let me tell you, or maybe I don't know. I mean, who is going to make it all? For that matter, to me, SCO hasn't gone beyond 1% of its potential, not 1% to 2%, in my view. So, well, Pakistan's what energy? We bring unique energy to SCO, and, and it... And uh, you will uh, so with the, with the with the SEO, Pakistan is returning to its cultural roots of centuries. Like China, Russia, and other member STO, st states of SEO, Pakistan believes that dialogue provides the only way to resolving disputes. On the basis of well-recognized principles of international law, justice, equality, non-interference, coexistence, and sovereign independence guiding interstate relations. My friend, Russian strategist Andrew Corey has called the Pakistan as the zipper state of Eurasia. You know, zip is very important. If you open the zip, you get the access to, 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 to the entire region, you know, extended region. So SEO is the strategic project, I would say, a strategic project of the future which at the moment hasn't utilized more than 2% of its potential. So 98% is around there, it's still there. The SEO is a strategic project with great benefits for the majority of world's population. And SEO's success will bring even more partners, even more members, even more people, because this model of cooperation has not been there. This template has not been there. This is a new trajectory. This is a new way of handling international relations. The difficulty is a lot of us do not know Chinese language. Uh, the SCO is a, a strategic project for the benefits for the majority of world's population. With Pakistan's accession to SCO, the possibilities of building north, south, east, west, transport and trade corridors in Asia become a real possibility. What we should be now thinking of, not only China-Pakistan economic corridor, but Russia-Pakistan economic corridor, Central Asia-Pakistan economic corridor, and all economic corridors with each, each member state of SCO. So, you know, the, the, the sky is the limit, as they say, for the potential. The world in the 21st century, according to me, cannot be shaped by new proponents of old Cold War template. <clears throat> Building trust is key to SCO's bright future. It can essentially decide, make, or unmake SCO. It is therefore utterly important that our all friends in SCO should consolidate their achievements and adopt a well-considered policy plan of action. Recruiting talented human resources and experts to implement the dreams and visions of the member states will be critical to the success of SCO. Contemporary history testifies that most regional and global organizations have failed either to take off or aborted due to absence of quality manpower to run those organizations. Pakistan will share with fellow SCO member states its own experiences strengths in nation building and economic revival for the achievement of the goals and principles of SCO Charter. It is in the long-term interest of all member states to overcome their contradictions and work instead on what is called positive, positivism, the Shanghai spirit. The success of SCO is born to attract to, for its fold other influential members in the neighborhood and beyond becoming in due course the world's most powerful regional grouping. It is hence necessary that the member states utilize their best minds and resources in the services of goals and ideals of SCO, which must establish its permanent headquarters and country liaison offices and headquarters 
Prominent global strategists, such as, as, as I mentioned earlier, John McEnder, Mahan, Toynbee, Panikar, and so many others, they return enough on the sing significance of Euro-Asiatic continent. Strategic domination and na naval power. The new global realities in making with China's rise, Russia's revival, Central Asia's consolidation, Eastern and Central Europe's economic restructuring, the new Middle East and the West Asia, Pakistan and ASEAN lining up, leave only a few, few odd states who want to confuse, who, are, who remain confused probably or, or, conf or make other people confused about how the world is going to shape. And those few states still believe in the old template, old core war template. And they want to keep their one leg also with SCO and the BRICS to confuse others. The, world, the, the flow of history is very clear. It is moving to Asia Pacific. The epicenter of global power is moving to Asia Pacific, Asia Euro, Euro Asiatic zone. If anybody doesn't want to see that, then I think, I mean, maybe on the right, wrong side of history. China's win-win paradigm of peace and development is indeed a coalition of the winning, having the overwhelming support of the international community. But that's what is my speech due to shortage of time. All I need to tell you is that Pakistan is well prepared to make its contribution to SCO. I really congratulate the CGSS for undertaking it. I think you know we need to build this romance of civil three civilizations that uh, SCO uh, shows and SEO cannot be held hostage to the Western desired template of what they call terrorism and all that. You see, the, the Pakistan is the country which has actually def defeated terrorism and, and, and can share its experiences with other member states. Let's talk on the potential. Let's, talk, let's utilize and harness the energy that SEO uh, depicts as an organization in line with the Shang Shanghai spirits. So with these words, I would thank you.